I'm taping pieces of plain white paper together. Yeah. And I'm doing it very carefully. Yeah. As you see. Yeah. So I've got two eight and a half by eleven pieces of paper, very very precisely lined up and taped, so uh -huh. that they become an eleven by seventeen. And I'm going to do about six of these, and then I'm going to tape each one of those together. I'm going to have this big sh sheet of paper, and I'm going to use it to wrap around this shelf that's behind right. me. Uh -huh. And that shelf is going to go into uh, the shelf closet that I've been working on for the last couple of days. Okay. That shelf looks like a piece of abstract art. Yes, it does. One, I'll show you one side of it. You know, the front... And one side was painted white. Yeah. Uh, but this was the shelf that was all the way up in the top yeah. of the closet. So we didn't see what was on the other side. And I, I didn't even know this was here until I cleaned up. Uh, there was a thick layer of dust and dirt on this. And underneath is this sort of dark blue-green and a kind of light green. Yeah. That, that have just been kind of, you know, it's extra paint. It was rolled together. And I, I, I sanded it and scraped it in a few places to scrape off clotted bubbles of paint. And now it kind of looks like an abstract <laughs> painting on a, pe on a piece of wood. And it, it's a very nice wood. I had, I had to trim some of it off so that it would match the, other, the width of the other shelves. Yeah, maybe it could hawk its modern art. I, well, well, it could, you know, it's... <laughs> It's art made from found objects, and yeah. it has a history. So, yeah. So yes, there's that. But for now, I'm, I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it up with with white paper. Oh, okay. As I'm using the white paper as a shelf liner. Okay. Okay.